it's always a privilege to visit here on earth in this physical body and in the environment that i'm focused upon right now it's raining and I've been summoned here to just speak to you a bit. On the dangers of rejecting or resisting other people or we may put it like judging other people. Tulu has been having an awakening based on this thing of judging people because he realized that all all the times that he was here on earth he was trusting other people's judgment about people he may know somebody will come to him and tell him about how bad that person is or the personality that he doesn't know because Recently, Tolo has been looking at other people through other people's eyes and he started to realize the huge difference. And as we always say when we are visiting here, we always say that everybody has the choice to choose any life they want to live. And every life that Every human being, Tulu included, is a life that is chosen by you and you alone. From where we come from, there is no evil or good. It's only your choice. And Tulu has realized that he's been having, he's been judging other people through the eyes of other people. On how other people feel about them until he started to realize what he always spoke about a lot of times. Tulu always spoke about the fact that people only project themselves in others, but he didn't know that from a broader perspective. He didn't know that the soul can jump to different dimensions, like we are focused here in this plane of existence but we are also focused in the multi-dimensional reality we can visit any timeline we want so Tulu never realized that until he realized that as, 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 as he is looking upon somebody that he doesn't love and what we how we see it from our point of view is that the part of you that we have rejected because everybody is just an incarnation of our own ego and our own different aspects so as Sulu is looking at an aspect that he doesn't love he will start to see his soul will move to that because soul is a multi-dimensional being so it will move to that that aspect of itself and it will see it and it will resist it so it will speak bad about it that's when Tulu started to realize that every time when he speaks back bad about another that means that he's rejecting that aspect of himself and as Tulu started to realize that he, he just wanted to come to a place where it's quiet and then he just wanted to stay by himself and then as he was staying that's when he summoned us so we we're just speaking on that and, and try to make you realize that whenever you feel negative energy when looking at something, just know that that is an aspect of yourself that you are not seeing through the eyes of your soul or your soul's energy because your soul is multidimensional. So it goes to a thing and as it goes to a thing, you uh, it, it shows you a, some sort of a direction like we spoke when we are visiting again, when we were speaking about an, an emotional guidance system. So Tulu started to realize that as he's not looking something through the eyes of source, then he starts to feel bad. And as he feels bad, he wants to ex he wants to express that that emotion. And then as he expresses that emotion, he speaks more about himself than the than the, the, the thing that he's focusing on, than what he's paying attention to. This is not this is what 
all the human beings doesn't want to hear. People doesn't want to hear somebody saying that if you speak bad about the other person, that means that you speak bad about yourself because that is the part of you that you reject. And that's the ultimate reality from our point of view because where we come from we are multi-dimensional beings so where we come from we can see everything from all it's all without no without no 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 restrictions to it so as we look at what you are looking at we see source energy and then as you look at it if you are rejecting that you see you feel bad so you see bad thing you see what you want to see but whenever you start to accept that part of you, of aspect of you that you've rejected, whether it be it in your childhood trauma, because remember, from our, from our point of view, there is no time. So what you think is in the past is here now. So we, because of that, because we are always with you as source energy, we, we, bring, we bring forth, when you look at something, we bring forth everything from the past, present and future so as you looking at that thing you are looking at it from all perspectives of life from all timelines of life but because you are a physical being you have this illusion that you are only looking at it at the present moment but as you look at it you you use all the eyes of all your selves that you've lived in your past life and every self that you've restricted or that you've rejected it comes to the surface as you look at any other being and when you feel bad, it means that there's another self of you that you've rejected, that when you are looking at it, it's restricting you from seeing with source energy. Because we as source energy, we look at everything from all perspectives of life, from all past, present and future, because there is no time. We look at things from eternity. So as you look at what we're looking at, then you start to have hindrances, because as you are looking with us, we start to access all timelines of life. And you will have restrictions because you've restricted or you've rejected one of your selves in the past or somewhere along the lines. So as we are source energy, we come to you to tell you that whenever you feel bad, expressing yourself is not the best decision to make. And we say this because we've realized that Sulu has been perceiving that a lot before not so long ago he used to do that a lot of times but recently he's been perceiving people trying to express themselves from the feeling of feeling bad and what they do they're just messing up their life more and more and more so you cannot get what you want when you are looking from the, the point of view of your ego when you're feeling bad, you cannot get what you want, no matter how hard you try. So, Tulu realized that as we say this to you, with so much love within us, as we are focused in this physical body, we would love to say to you, if you feel bad, find a way to feel good or maybe to just find clarity before you can express yourself. It's been nice to have an opportunity to visit and focus in this physical reality till we meet again.